All right, my friends, welcome back to my survival difficulty, no damage, all collectibles walkthrough for the Evil Within 2. So during this segment, we are going to start and complete chapter 8. And we're finally going to deal with Stefano. Since we've destroyed both pictures, now we can gain access to the area that he is in. We're just going to avoid the Guardian here. Don't need to deal with her right now. Apparently she didn't leave anything on the ground for me. Well, that's fine. No problem. I'm not mad or anything. We're just going to avoid her and go through here. See, there should be some crates there on the ground, but she probably broke them and they were probably empty. So I didn't even really need to check that area, but it's all good. Anyway, we're going to get inside the new area. It's right over there. And we are going to have a boss battle against Stefano. And it's a rather interesting boss battle. I actually quite like it. I think it's, you know, a well done boss battle. But we'll get to that once the battle starts. Surprisingly, his attack pattern is always kind of the same. So it's easy to come up with a strategy to use against him. But nonetheless, it's a fun fight. But let's go through here now. And let's get this chapter started. He's got to be in here somewhere. You dare to destroy my work? You expect me to bend to your will? Just like them, thinking they could sculpt me into what I am not. What they created in here. It's marvelous. They wasted it because they had no imagination. Because they are not artists. They want to. Yeah, we're going to interrupt his little monologue to get a memory here. Want to stop me. Although it's just him talking again. Because with the power of the core, I can create my art forever. This is what I've been waiting for. For all my life, for both of my lives, no more struggling, no more listening to Philistine critics, no more pandering to the uneducated opinions of callow neophytes, no more rejection from crude simpletons. I'm finally free to be what I've always been, an artist. And I have the greatest canvas ever devised at my disposal. The world will finally know and revere the name Stefano Valentini. Man, he really thinks very highly of himself now, doesn't he? I mean... His definition of art is something else. But I think he sees himself as the next bizarre Picasso or something. We're going to put a stop to that. This chase has been entertaining. But even the greatest entertainments must come to an end. The girl! Where is she? I commend you for making it this far. If perseverance were an art form, you would be a master. Perhaps not Michelangelo, but a Van Gogh at the Enough least. art school bullshit! Where is she? The core is safe with me. I took her on his orders. But once I realized the extent of her powers, how could I possibly hand her over? 
What I'm doing is more important than mere personal gain. He could never understand this. He? Who is he? It doesn't matter. He won't be around much longer. My work, however, will continue. Picasso had his blue period. I have entered my crimson period. Shit! No! Don't! Behold, my latest creation. No! Sick bastard! How will I ever top this? I'll find a way. Her fear is always inspiring. <coughs> Nothing like the corruption of innocence to spark the fire of creation. Man, that scene of the blowing of those people's heads, I mean, I, I that's going to be too much for YouTube, I'm sure, but that was really troublesome. Well, we're going to avenge all of those people for sure. Because I don't know what Stefan would consider his next masterpiece if blowing up a bunch of people's heads wasn't enough for him. Anyway, we won't let him do anything else. So during this segment we need to avoid the blue light. Actually this segment isn't that different than uh, a segment in the final chapter of the first Evil Within game. We just need to avoid the light otherwise we will take damage um, because those tentacle things will come and try to hit you but it's very easy to avoid it so we have nothing to worry about that side here we'll just wait for the light to pass and then let's get up here now and hide over there there is a key for us to collect so we're going to get it let's just wait for the light to move there we go and now let's make a run for it and hide here there's the key There we go, and now let's side over there. Again, just wait for the light to pass. And we'll make a run for it. And let's jump to the next area. Okay, now that the light has moved on ahead, we're going to move over here. And honestly, I think I can hide there. Yep, we're all good. If we take cover here, we just have to wait for the light to pass again. And now we are out of here. So that's the first area cleared. Of course, we still have to do with Stefano himself. But we'll manage just fine. Anyway, let's pick up this red shell. Uh, you can save your game here if you want. 
we're just going to go on ahead also if you want you can go back and get a few upgrades done you might want to have uh, some shock bolts um, and aside from that really you should only need the shotgun and the handgun in fact you will only probably need the handgun and the shotgun but we'll see harpoon bolts also work pretty well that sounds like a challenge and no Sebastian isn't going to be added to his works of art no more running no more games agreed You're beginning to bore me. Well, you get bored easily, don't you? Anyway, guys, it's time for a boss battle. And this really won't be that bad. First, let's hide over here. His attack pattern, uh, essentially during this stage, he will usually use... He can use up to four different attacks. Uh, whenever he's moving, moving close to you, you should actually wait until the last second to give a few steps back. That way you will still strike and you'll have a perfect opportunity to strike him. He's coming after me again. So let's see if I can get him here. Oh, I guess I probably could shoot him, but oh well, that's okay. I was waiting for, for him to teleport one more time, so I didn't want to waste bullets. Uh, whenever he takes a photograph, hide behind the wall so that you don't get slowed down. Well, you get annoyed easily. Let's strike him as well. Oh, totally missed that one. I thought he wouldn't disappear quite yet. Here he comes once again, so let's wait for him to move close to us, and then we'll shoot him. There we go. Because otherwise he will just teleport and disappear, he won't actually try and strike. There we go. First segment of this fight is cleared, and he's getting mad. What happened to all the art that you wanted to make? I guess in the end all villains end up falling to this maniac stage where they just want to kill Sebastian. Anyway, let's place a shock bolt here on the ground. That way whenever Stefano comes charging at you, he will be shocked. See? Just like that. And that way you have an opportunity to shoot him. But honestly you don't even need to do that. You want to stay in this corner because that way you'll be protected from those tentacle attacks. And you will use them every once in a while. Um, but it's actually fairly easy to avoid these attacks when he comes charging at you. Okay, another bullet. There we go. He's going to throw his knife. Whenever that happens, just hide behind the wall. Wait until he actually says his line. That means he's going to throw his uh, knife. When he comes running at you, just run away from him and you'll be able to dodge him. There we go, we got him with one bullet at least. So whether you place the shock bolts on the ground to stun him, or you just wait for him to come after you, either way you should be fine. Let's wait for him to finish this little dance. Once he does that, hide. Now we can shoot him, there we go. He's coming after me, so we're going to move away. Wait until the last second to dodge. There we go, and then shoot him with a shotgun up close. He should be almost done for here at this point. You really need to improve your aim, dude. Uh, when these tentacles appear, just stay here in the corner so that you're protected. And like I said, if you're having uh, difficulty dodging his attacks, just place a shock bolt on the ground and wait for him to come at you. 
<laughs> there we go. Well, as they say, come at me, bro. He's going to throw his knife again. But we can just hide here. Nah, shot a little bit too late. He's going to do it one more time. I will not. There we go. That got him in the shoulder. Here he comes again. Once again, when he does this, just move away. And now, well, he disappeared before I could shoot him, but... You get the idea. I can't believe he has that much more health left. Okay, here he comes. You missed. And victory is ours, so there we go. Quite an interesting boss battle, I will say so. But I'm glad we got rid of this psycho. Bye, I. I'll never see you again, maybe. I had so much left to create. You've destroyed my legacy. L look at me. You made me into a masterpiece. Must record it. If only I had my camera. Where did it go? Don't be afraid, honey. It's me, Dad. No, no, you're not. Dad is dead. <sighs> honey, I know that's what they told you, but it's not true. Lily, please, I. Come out, Lily. You don't have to hide. Come to Mother, Lily. I will protect you. Myra? Get away! You can't have her! I'll be out here for you, and someone else will be in there for you. Kidman... She knew about Myra.
you know just in like two parts ago we were talking about the sexualization of female face. characters it's amazing That's how uh, when we had talked about that goo monster it's not a surprise that it's actually a female and that even Sebastian's wife, even his freaking wife, they have to, you know, put her in essentially a goo piece of underwear and in pretty much an open jacket, that's all she's wearing. It's like they can't create a female character that's not, you know. Well, that's a shame. But I guess this gives us some backstory on Stefano. I'm glad that they like to essentially think that there's any way that it's appropriate to you know do that to women but anyway uh yeah he went insane after a piece of chaparral from a bomb entered his eye and i guess he really liked the fact of bodies exploding so that's what he considers art anyway that's it for chapter number eight my friends i hope you found this segment useful i'm going to save my game and take a break and i will see you all later for chapter number nine take care